This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Ooh, what's up people, Dom Swords is right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. And before we start like always, make sure you check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. Well, the last two Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings were quite uh, okay, good, they're getting better. Well, like I said, we opened up a booster box that I was hoping to get the most expensive card in the set. We didn't get it, fair enough. We opened up another great set that I loved, the um, Rise of the Duelist. Love that set, awesome. But also another thing that I love doing every year when it comes to Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! I always go out to random shops, I mean random, I'm about to talk about very random shops, and buy discontinued slash reduced packs. I went to, this was not from Card Empire, but I do advertise Card Empire because they're the ones I mainly go to. But I went to some random shop and they had reduced Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And they, we got like a few random ones. We got um, we got some uh, Speed Jewel with uh, Joy Wheeler on it. We got ourselves Cybernetic Horizon, um, um, uh, Vengeance, um, Invasion. Uh, what else we got? We only got one pack of uh, Destiny du Destiny Soldier, which is awesome. But we've got loads of packs here. That most of them are from 249 instead of them being 349. Uh, 249 instead of 349. 249 instead of 349. And of course, this one, this was 179, and, but it's now 99p. So we've got a lot of priced up stuff here. So I'm just going to go and divide them all up really quick. So it makes it easier for me when I'm doing my editing. I can find out what the prices of particular cards were. They're not going to, like I said, I'm not going to price up the super rares in the actual set sets because they don't worth hardly anything because you're always guaranteed getting them. But it depends on if I think they've got something in them. I'll definitely put a price on that. So either way, we're going to start up easily standardly with the speed jewel because they're very easy to um, check out what they're going to be. So with that being started, we've only got four of them. There are 24 packs here because I want to make it like a like a booster box. So, with that being said, let's get started. Cue the music. Let's hope that these um, reduced booster packs have amazing pulls. Because that's why I love seeing though. Because you're paying way less than you posed to. And you still have, you may have a chance of pulling yourself a very expensive card from a very cheap booster pack. And these are speed jewel, remember? So we have Release with Staint, Fighting Spirit, Pendulum Machine. Oh, what a start already. We got a super rare already. Crystal Seer. So there's our price tag right there. It's got a little bit of a smudge around with the with the actual holographic, but either way, that's great. Another part from my collection for speed jewel. Right off the start, we get a holographic already from a 99p pack. So that's really awesome. This is thing, so probably that card's worth way more than 99p, so that's awesome. I'm happy with that. Next one, we got ourselves Master Craftsman Gamble, Slot Machine, Blast Sphere. Are you kidding? An Ultra Rare! Oh my god, Heavy Metal Raiders! Oh my god, and it's Bandit Keith's card. Oh, that is sick. I am so happy. I don't have a clue how much that is worth, but it's one of the Ultra Rare cards. Which is awesome because the ultimate rares, how many ultra rares are in this? Only eight, and there's eight super rares as well. Wow, oh my goodness, we got two for two already for Speed Jewel. Don't have a clue how much that one is worth, but if the, if I find a price for it, that's that's how much it is. Alright, next pack. We got Insect Armor, Laser Cannon, Spell Binding Circle, Screech, and Magical Plant, Medora. Okay. As you guys know, I'm a massive fan of Speed Jewel. I actually played that with friends online because um, I have, I, well, it's AKA I go on Zoom playing with random friends because I don't go into tournaments anymore because like you guys know, still the pandemic and everything. This has been pre-recorded, as you guys know, it's been pre-recorded. So uh, I, I wouldn't go into shops or anything and uh, don't want to get capture, capture uh, any type of virus to bring it back home and give it to my mother. Like you guys know, I don't want to kill her. So at the moment, two two um, speed jewel card hollows, which is good, an ultra and a super rare. But now, time for an all holographic pack. So I don't remember what is in this except for they're just Destiny Heroes, which I love Destiny Heroes as much as the next person. So I think we can get some. Oh my god, we've always got a good card already. Uh, Destiny End Dragoon, uh, Destiny Hero Dynatag, Dark Lord Nurse, Dark Eruption. Oh nice, Abyss Actor Superstar. 
Sweet. Don't have a clue if they have any value for them cards, but I'm not going to put a price tag on them because uh, they, you do guarantee holographics. It depends on which ones you get, but I don't think any of them are worth hardly anything. So, yeah. Just going to go ahead and just quickly sleeve these ones up, and then we'll move on to the main packs of today's pack opening. The um, Cybernetic Horizons and the Invasion cards, and hopefully I pull the cover card. Well, the cover cards, but also the secret rares that we want, and the ultras. We don't want any super rares, even though we know we're going to get some super rares either way. But hopefully, we've got some good chances. We'll start off with Cybernetic Horizon. What can we get? We've got Dealer's Choice, Crusader, Mini Battle Dragon, we've got the Rare. And we got ourselves our super rare already. We got Crusadia Maximus, sweet. Perform a Lady Bell, Decoy Dragon, Seal of the World, and Link Turret. Just gonna go put the commons there. So, right after start, we got ourselves some hollows here, looking good. But it's only a super rare, it's not an ultra, it's not a secret. That's what we're hoping for. And remember, these do not have starlight rares in them, so anything could happen. But at the moment, I'm sure we're going to get our money back if we pull anything really good. And we've got Noble Knight Palinor. Okay, Noble Knights. That's something I really don't want to pull because I know that the Noble Knights are not worth anything nowadays. And I don't like them myself. I'm going to pull the duplicate rare already, which is quite terrible. But remember people, I am not pricing the super rares because we already know that they are not worth hardly anything. It's the Ultras and the Secrets that we want. We got ourselves World Legacy, World Crown, and the Dragonity Sentius. Okay, another weird one. Link Divider of the World, Divine Serpent, Gear. That's like, it's like, I need to flip my sleeves around the right way round. There we go. I can't wait though, people, when we get to. Um, the final pack opening, which is in four days, which is a booster box opening, which hopefully you guys are looking forward to. Um, give me one second, people. Let me just finish off this pack, and I just need to change the battery. So give me two, two minutes, about two minutes after this. And World Legacy Survivor. And another freaking duplicate rare. Again, that's three of them already. Right, give me two seconds, people. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So the last pack we just got ourselves is World Legacy Survivor. It's not a bad card, it's another super rare that we haven't got because I remember I didn't open up a lot of Cybernetic Horizon in the past but it's nice to have them open up again. But how many holographics were in there? 14 super rares, 10 ultras and 8 secrets, right. But at the moment we're not pulled any ultras or secrets which is not looking good at the moment. Breaking the world, world legacy memory, join the lagoon, Goki, nice pollen of storm dragon which is great. Oh, oh baby! Danger Nessie! Oh my god! No way! No freaking way! We just got Nessie! Oh, the great power of Scotland! Oh, yes! Oh my god! Today we fight for our freedom! Oh, let's go! Danger Nessie! What a secret rare right there, people! I am happy to get that! That is awesome! Oh, that's amazing to pull! Wow! Yes! How much is that? That's awesome. Danger Nessie. I love the Danger cards as much as the next person does. They're one of my favourite artworks by far. But nice. We got finally got ourselves a secret. We'll put it right there because we know they're the ones that we need to price up. Alright, come on. We've got the nice train rolling now. We've got some good luck there. Psychic Ace. Goki again. Extra Zero Extra Link. Cyber Switch and a Drum Gun. Okay. And oh, nice. We've got Bowel Restrator as well. That's really good. It's a good card for your Bowel Deck. And I do have a Bowel Deck as well. Um, like I said, people, I have not got, I don't go into tournaments anymore because, as you guys know, I am a retired duelist. Um, I just play with random friends or people who want to have a bet with me to see who can win the best cards or win with money. So it's worth a chance. Nice! Danger Zone! Highway to the Danger Zone! I take it to convert you to the Danger Zone! So there you go, Danger Zone. Great card, love it. Good for your dangers as well. 
no no biggie about like that, I think. Okay, sweet. Oh, I'm happy with that. Another danger card. And it's an ultra rare, so hopefully that's worth a little bit. Alright, uh, let's have a see. Dragacy Curse, Profaminals, the Angel of Drag um Armageddon. Ace. And Ah, Sky Acer Sky Striker Ace. Oh I forgot Striker is Strike is the um, there's a secret if I remember that so a Sky Striker Ace, which is very expensive. So Dragon Vire, which is good. So hopefully we can pull that in the last few packs that we're gonna pull in a minute. But then we're gonna move into Invasion. The Invasion packs, which are quite expensive too. Um, they're not as really expensive as packs nowadays, because as you know, but the, but I don't see any first editions anymore in supermarkets anymore. And now the Crusade Mag Magius, okay. I have opened up a lot of um, in Invasion a long time ago, but I don't remember the card set anymore. Um, they're not as... Um, I think there is some cards that are still quite valuable in the set, but uh, I don't think they're like super, super, super expensive. But it's worth buying them because they were on price. Oh my god, another Ultra Rare Crusade Equia Max. Love it. Sweet. Two Ultra Rares. I'll take it. And another Goki again. That's sweet. This is looking really good, people. Now we've got a second Ultra Rare. Let's see what the price of that card is worth. Amazing. Let's get another rare duplicate as always. And the final pack of Samonic Horizon. What do we get out of this? Uh, point Guard, Cupid Valley, Proponent, Extra Zero, Sim Plans, and another Dragon. Nice. And oh, nice, Crusader Lioness. Sweet. It's a lion and a tiger at the same time. <laughs> So not bad people, we've got a Seeker Rare, which is a Nessie, which is freaking amazing, a Danger danger Zone card, and a, a Crusader card, that's really good, not bad for them. Let's move on though to Invasion. I hope to God we do pull the cover card, because I've not pulled the cover card yet, and I'd love to get that. I know it's an Ultra Rare card, but I know it's not the expensive card, but it's worth getting it. Uh, we've got a Subterra Behemoth, that's sweet. So we've got Subterra cards in this set too, which is great. Like I said, people, it's been a long time since we opened up these old packs and everything. It was just great seeing them in a random shop in Manchester. I saw these in Manchester, like I always do. Um, they were just selling them off, so I thought, I'll take them. So they said, yeah, sure, take them. Probably because they just had to get new stuff in. So nice, Christian Kwan. I'm, I think the newer version of that is actually worth way more. I think this one's the cheapest one, but it's not bad to have. Uh, so between Rector, nothing there, but it's not. But some of the um, commons as well are actually worth a little bit. But like I said, I'm not going to price the super reds because pretty much the super reds don't really worth as much than the ultras and the secrets. Christian entry, mirror knight, see the bell, and another fusion. I do have that one countless times as well. A uh, Cyberframe Multi Trender, uh, Fraud Freeze, which is badly. Oh my goodness! Have you seen? Do you see the? Have you seen the lines of that print of card? That's not been looked after by the by the actual factory. Come on, Konami, get that one fixed, will ya? But these packs are old. They're about at least a year old, I think. Uh, it doesn't even tell you a date on when these were out. No idea. Well, if you guys remember what what date these these packs came out, I'm sure it was from last year. We have Doki Doki. No surprise there. <laughs> um, Space Eruption. And ah, nice! we got an Ultra Rare. We got Subtel Behemoth Ultimathus. Nice looking card. Love it. Uh, we'll sleeve that up in a second. We'll see what the uh, price of that card is. Dobsy, future Dobbs, please tell me how much is this card worth, please. Thank you. We'll put that to the side because it's an ultra rare and not a, and a secret pile, so we know that they're worth something. Next pack. Now that's what I'm trying to do though as well, people. I'm trying to check out the prices of cards now this year. Because last year and the year before, I never really checked on the price. No freaking way! Another one! 
Meteor Black Comet Dragon. No way. <gasps> it's a Red Eyes card. No way. Oh, baby. I didn't even know that. Present gift. Oh, wow. Sweet. Um. Oh, my God. I didn't know that card was in this set. Oh, sweet. That's definitely going in my personal collection. Oh, wow. Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Fuse one level seven red eyes monster and one level six dragon type monster. Oh wow. I love this card. I love it so much. What is the price of this card? Damn, son, that's awesome. There's only three packs left and we not pull a secret rare yet, but do not worry, I'm sure the our luck will change soon enough. Hopefully in the last pack opening we'll get summer. We got Tranquil Night Genesis. Nothing there. Sleeve this up. Sleeve this one up. And the second to last pack of today. Christian entry. Another fusion. Come on. Nothing there. At the moment though, it looks like this pack opening from random booster packs, I think we definitely made a little bit of profit from the um, reduced price of cards, I think. I don't think we did that bad, I don't think, don't you think? Spiral Restore, yeah. Nothing there. Okay. So pretty much we got two ultra rares out of the invasion packs, which is awesome. One card I never thought actually existed, but one card I that, that I have seen, but I do not own. But bloody hell, I can't believe it. We got freaking Secret Rare and Danger Nessie, which I actually wanted for quite some time. I'm very happy with that. So, yeah, can't complain right there, people. Cannot complain. So before we do say goodbye, people, of course, we have to check out on what we pulled today. I need to go ahead and separate them, just so you guys don't have to uh, think about what we really have got. Pretty quick. Blah 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 blah. Yep. Blah 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 and them are the them are the um speed jewels. Okay. So normal rares of the day. We have all these ones here, quite a lot of them. So I'll just go through them really quick. You guys could tell me if there is some of them that you see that might be quite pricey. Let me know. Because I'd love to know what you guys think if there's anything that I've missed out. For um, Speed Jewels, which are awesome to pull. Two, ult an Ultra and a Super Rare out of a random packs that were reduced. Here's our Secrets, Danger Nessie and the a Superstar. Super Rares, of course. If there's anything that you see that actually has a little bit of price on it, let me know. Because I'll, I'll definitely um, keep that in mind in the near future. And here's our Ultras. Which I think the best one is between these two, Danger Zone and the um, Meteor Black Comet Dragon. They're the best ones, I think. But overall, I think not a bad haul at all today from a, a bunch of reduced packs, I think. What do you think, people? Let me know. But anyhow, people, that is end of today's video. We've only got one pack opening left of this month, and then that's the end of birthday month. January will be over. So if you guys haven't done it, yet, done it yet, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below and check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. And please guys, stay tuned in four days because we are opening up one of my favourite, favourite, favourite booster boxes. And there's a hell of a story about it. Stay tuned to then. The people on the sleeve go see you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys then. Cheerio! I freaking love reduced packs. You don't know where you're going to get in them. And now uh, you always get something good at them. Love it! One well, that people like using it for grass. We got some reverse foil uh, sterny. Oh. oh my god! Secret red next ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the ultra ball for a second, but it ain't, it's the nest ball. Oh baby, wait a minute. One for the uh, did I do Oh Oh! Oh!